Martin Man. Martin Man. Treasures. Are good. That's a cool little forty niners chest. stuff in there. What do we got? I mean, Carrie would tell me to buy them all, but... Easter holiday flags 25 each or four dollars for the whole box that's a commonwealth picker kind of price right there More cards. Got some away. Yeah. That's nah, tagged for local. Oh, let me see what 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
They're not quality, so <laughs> everything was sitting outside and it got a little, oh, sure. a little rainy. Look at this. Is that fit okay? Yeah, I think so. We're going to split some of them. Okay. You ready? Yep. All right. Okay. Going this way. Solid little single stop video here. Um, you know, you saw me mention it there in, in the video. Maybe I should have picked up some of the stuff that I didn't. Um, you know, I, I, I don't necessarily second think myself at the time but then i'm putting the video together and it's like mm -hmm. maybe did I, did I make a mistake there you know the little fruit and vegetable guys they were kind of cool they weren't particularly old you know they had a upc and everything on the bottom so i don't know maybe i should have got them anyway uh you know that that uh i don't know if it was a toy chest or you know the the 49ers crate uh she wanted you, you maybe heard uh, another guy that is starting to pick up stuff that I pick up. I compete with him a little bit now. Uh, he ended up picking that up. He gets a lot of sports stuff, um, vintage sports things, and uh, she gave him a price of 30. I don't know if that was good or, or, or not. I thought it was kind of a cool crate, but I, I don't know. I guess I could have picked it up, but I felt okay leaving it, certainly leaving the cards. But I did get some good stuff, and uh, you know, I got Actually, what I went there for, I saw just the corner of it in uh, in the ad, and uh, it was interesting to me. I thought it was a Scooby-Doo item, so I did some digging uh, the night before because Scooby-Doo can be very good. Vintage Scooby-Doo stuff uh, can be good money, and uh, I found online what I thought was probably that box. Again, I could only see a, a, a corner of it in the pictures that they took for the ad, and it was tucked away in the back. So that was an indication to me that it was maybe not priced super high. Uh, you know, they, they tend to highlight the stuff that they want people to see, and that's very often the stuff that is priced higher. So I thought, well, okay, they tucked it back. It's not going to be priced high. If I can figure out what it is, maybe I've got a lead there. And uh, I did figure out what it was, and it matched what I thought was the uh, that, that waffle iron. And they're pretty rare to find with the box. And so I have mine priced a little bit higher because it has the box, but the sell-through rate on those things is very, very good. Uh, and then we picked up a couple more Scooby-Doo items, you know, the, the yard flags and, and, and stuff like that. Uh, I could have picked up the cookie jar. I just kind of hate shipping cookie jars. Uh, and it wasn't particularly valuable. I would have made money on it, but it wasn't worth the hassle for me, at least on that day, I decided. So happy with what I got and got some stuff for the booth. You know, picked up those wanted posters. They're not old, of course, but, uh, you know, they're, they're kind of cool and they're, they're in frames. And so that adds a little bit. And I thought just kind of a fun little inexpensive item that I can put in the vintage booth, you know, and, and sort of fits, you know, it, it looks old. It's Montana, you know, so it sort of fit. I could put a little $10 price tag on it and maybe impulse buy for some folks. Uh, the, the, the photos, I got to look. I don't think they're real photos. Um, but they're, they're interesting. They're reprints of, uh, of old photos, but they're interesting. And so I think those might be able to go for a little bit more. So it's interesting to be able to start to source differently because I'm not picking up just for online now. And at that point, uh, when I went to this sale, the booth was just sort of a, Hey, I think this is going to happen now that we've got one, or at least in a week, we will. Uh, and I can immediately move stuff over there. That'll help as well. If this will go in the booth, let me take it today. Uh, I, I can source a little bit differently. You know, I can look at stuff that I didn't look at before. Now I'm having to look at stuff that I didn't look at before. And it's kind of fun. It's fun learning new stuff, picking up bigger items, furniture type items, that sort of thing. So I get to learn about all new things and uh, I, I enjoy it. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick stop. Uh, I think I'll be headed home. Pretty soon, my brother's coming into town. He's going to be hanging out with the folks. And uh, so I'll be able to, to head home and, and catch up on a bunch of stuff there and get new listings up and uh, get just my feet under me, get the, the, the show going this weekend, and then move in to that new booth. So uh, thanks all who have hung out. Uh, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumb and the bell and uh, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, we're almost up to 18,000, which is awesome. And uh, go check out another video. In fact, I'll put one up down here.